Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, daily chart of the ES. Let me tighten up a little bit here. And you see the 73.25 high. We've made three consecutive lower lows off of that high and pulled back all the way to 47. So about 26 handles in total. Um, the bears are putting together a little bit of a morning off of Globex. And right now we're five points higher than we closed on Friday. Uh, I was, I'm still uh, swing short and I covered some on that and I added it back. And uh, in my other account, I went long the close on Friday, and I took uh, I already I, I took that trade off at a decent profit this morning, uh, between uh, last night and this morning. So what I'm doing personally is I'm trading in and out of this long and short until the market decides one of two things: either that it wants to trade above 62 and go make new highs and head on up to 1800, which is where this upper band is resting now. Or wait for it to break below 47, confirm that as a breakdown, and then I'll ride uh, what's left of my swing short, probably down to test 34 and to test the middle uh, Bollinger Band, which this morning is 1727.20, but it's rising pretty rapidly. Um, uh, and you know, wait for wait for the market to test that level and see if that wants to hold, see if the middle Bollinger Band wants to hold, or whether the middle Bollinger Band wants to break down. So this is not where you come out and say, the market will go up, the market will go down. That's just, I mean, come on. If, if you're doing this with any kind of discipline, if you're doing this with any kind of management, uh, and you're doing it on a shorter term time frame, then, <clears throat> The best swing move right now is to wait for a little bit more of a low, and the best day trade moves are to play these violent pops that we keep getting every day on the upside. So that's what I'm doing. Um, as far as the bigger picture is concerned, if we close above 62, I'm very concerned. If, if, if you're a bear, you have to be concerned that we're going to go up and make new highs. They tested it on, uh, on Friday. They've, they're, they're continuing to push it now just as much as they can. The bulls run the risk of doing what the bears have done in the past, which is establishing a level as a ceiling, which in this case would be 1762. The, what the bulls want to do if they can't break out is to have the 4748 level be established as a floor. If that happens, then what we've seen during the course of this run-up is that eventually the bulls will make it through and head up to new highs. Because if you back out the chart, there's nothing happening on this chart that tells me that 1773.25 is the high or the high, the end of the road. Nothing at all. All it tells me is that we're going to go down and make another higher low and then likely head back up to make another higher high. So in that context, what is a higher low? Anything above 1640 is a higher low. That's a lot of room for the bulls to work with. So you've got to understand the big picture. Um, and I will not hesitate to dump this swing short on a close below 62. Um, the average on it is about 54. And that, that's why you trade in and out from the long side, you know, doing five handles here, two handles there, ten handles here, you know, the whole thing. That's why you trade in and out of it, because if you're ultimately wrong on the swing, you're going to have to take a little bit of a hit and get out. Um, but that's trading. So um, that's that's the plan. With respect to the pivots, you've got double pivots at 1754. That's a daily and the nine day. Uh, 45 day are sitting down at 1719 half. Uh, so based on the closing price, you're under 40 handles off the 45 day pivot. So the 45 day is neutral. So that's, you know, that's basically what I'm looking at going into today. Uh, the three days sitting at 58.33, the 20 day, the 20 day is down at 22. Now let me show you this and then I'll go. So the 20 day is down at, at, at 22, which matches up with this double fib area, 23% of the move from the June low and 38% of the move from 1640 up to the 1773 quarter. So the 2122 area becomes interesting if the bears can get the job done up here. Um, and despite the fact that they've made three lower lows, they're not really getting the job done. They've got a lot of work today 
uh, they're going to have to do a lot of work to get from 1640.75 down below 47. And right now, they're not doing it. So it looks, you know, until they do that, this low here starts to look like the higher low. All right, everybody have a great day. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, PrincetonTrader.com. Come uh, check out the chat. Come take a trial with us. And I uh, hope to see you in there. I'll be back tomorrow morning with a webcast. Trade them well, everybody.